Tanya, um, dressed like a pint of Guinness to celebrate the coming of our history. As you said yourself, I don't feel too bad. Like you said, saying that um, September 22nd, yeah. Dublin, Cork, Belfast, and Limerick. Yes. What did you say? How many countries are in the world as well? 40. 40 countries around the world, Italy and Germany. Yes. And, and it's, a, it's our first day again. Yes. So, what are, who are you bringing to us this time? Or? What's happening? Well, we have a fantastic lineup of artists. Um, something we work hard on every year is how to bring that kind of magic dust, yep. you know, that specialness. So this year we're uh, extending the, uh, the venues. Um, so we have Dublin Cork, which yep. we had last year, but we also have Belfast and Limerick. Right. Um, great lineup. I'm sure you've heard some of the names today Scissor Sisters, Stereophonics, Capo Harris. Which we just heard in there. Yep. So, really important for us to keep the caliber of the top of the yes. really high. Yep. Um, and we do find people who have um, worked with us in our state, they do enjoy coming back. They've had a Nettini and two years in yep. Absolutely. And um, it is all going for the Arthur Guinness Fund. Yes. I think people forget that sometimes. Yes. So, there's a huge fund um, for uh, social entrepreneurs out there. Absolutely. So, um, I mean, take a step back. So, in the 250th, what will you? We were kind of thinking, what would be a fitting tribute to Arthur Guinness, the yep. kind of founder of the company? And there were two parts to that. One is, we said, we should mark his anniversary with the day. You yep. know, the day where people raise a toast to the man himself. Yep. The other part, which was so part of what he did, was his philanthropic legacy. So what would Arthur have done? Yep. Um, and quite quickly, we got to social entrepreneurship. Um, this idea of empowerment um, and actually mentoring, etc., which is a part of what we do on the Arthur Guinness Fund. Yep. So we created a fund, um, 2.5 million, just announced 10 other awards last week as part of that. Yep. Um, and then e each year, recognising those two elements were important parts um, of the legacy of, of the brand. We um, also, um, ticket sales for Arthur's Day go to the Arthur Guinness Fund as well to yep. just keep it topped up. And speaking of ticket sales, it's not going to, they're not going to be expensive gigs. I think last year the most expensive was 15 or 20 euro. Uh, 10 euro. 10 euro. Yeah. So there you go. So a lot of people would have said that the 2009 one was our first day. Yeah. It was the 250th and Guinness should have stopped there. Yeah. So but why didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the main thing really was that we've been tracking all during the year people's awareness of Arthur's Day and obviously the amount of people who took part. Yep. And 92% of the population said they want to see Arthur's Day again. Our customers all wanted to see Arthur's Day yep. again. And really we did the full evaluation, as you would, yep. and quite quickly said, you know what, I actually don't think we have a choice, we should put it on again. It was a day where people really came together around the pub, which, yep. you know, continues to be a really important part of Irish kind of social pub. Yeah, but what is, I suppose, your emphasis on responsible drinking or whatever? Because I know yeah. you saw the YouTube videos that we all saw yeah. last year, like Temple Bar and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So is that something you would have factor in this oh, year? Absolutely. I mean, there was, um, you know, thankfully we worked together with the authorities to uh, make sure there aren't any incidents. Yeah. That was the only one incident. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but, you know, for us really, it is about coming together and raising a glass again. Us. Um, but, you know, we are trying to also ensure that people take um, responsibility for themselves um, to, to drink responsibly. So, making sure there's water in the venues, there's Guinness mid strength available, um, encouraging people to, you know, eat food at regular times. Um, Put the message on all our marketing. Um, certainly, we want people to enjoy it responsibly. That's the message from us. Brilliant. And how much work goes into something? Even like we're at the launch here in Greenlands. It's uh, July the something. I can't even remember what date it is. But you've been you've been working on this for a year. You've been yeah. working on this since probably before the last one. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely the most extensive marketing program I've ever worked on because it doesn't stop. Yeah. You know, it's probably the same um, for Christmas for some brands. In that it's just ongoing. So we're actually already kind of talking about you know how would you set up 2012 for instance. So um, we took a, a deep breath after September 23rd last year, a few weeks off, and then actually started into planning for this year. Again, evaluation it is really important. You know, do consumers really want it? What would they love it to be, etc. Um, and about 77%, I think it was, and they love to see it every year. 
so that's where you're expanding. We're expanding to yeah. And yeah. it's um, Guinness Ireland on Facebook. Yes. It's yeah. Guinness Ireland on Twitter. Yes. As far as I know, it's September 22nd, and tickets are on sale on the 4th of August. 4th of August. From Ticketmaster. She's far more prepared than I am. Thanks very okay. much. Thanks very much. Bye bye.